In this video, we're going to look at a book from the past. If you're wondering what the book is, it's right here in my pocket. This book here is an old school engineering book, and it's meant to be put in a vest pocket. This may not be a vest, but that's what it's for. Let's take a look inside this super old school book. Okay, so this is the book, Engineer's Handbook, indexed. It says, includes information on math, building, mechanics, heat, hydraulics, pipes, electricity, surveying, cost, mining, chemistry, and it has 47 tables. Ridiculous. Look how small this book is. If you look at the back, it says, the list of books above is part of the Vest Pocket Library. So this is a book that you could fit in your Vest Pocket. Um, and I guess there's other books that were made similar to this one. This was only a dollar. I believe this book is actually worth money. Uh, it's considered quite rare. Uh, let me take the cover off so you can see what it's made out of. So this is the book and it's beautiful, black, shiny. I believe it's a leather cover. I could smell it from here. The Engineer's Vest Pocket Book. Formulas, Tables, Examples by Thomas Spalding and Plavilovich. Beautiful book. Oh, I'm just going to take a quick sniff. Oh, yeah, I am pretty sure this has a leather cover. I mean, when can you get a book for $1 with a leather cover? They don't make books like this uh, anymore. Let's take a look inside this book. So this is the inside cover. I'll go slowly so you can read it. Copyright. Looks like this one's 1960. Really, really old school stuff printed in the USA. Look at the preface. I love this. This is the second edition of the Engineer's Vest Pocket Book, first published in 1930, now revised and enlarged. So I guess it used to be smaller than this. I can't imagine having to read text that's actually smaller than this. Pretty ridiculous. Here you see it has a list of important tables and charts that I guess are useful to engineers. Really interesting. Mathematics, the basis of science, is a powerful tool for getting at the facts. It is a convenient shorthand enabling us to maneuver facts expressed as symbols like checkers on a checkerboard. Wow, really, really cool little book. This is cool. This is a table of trig function values. So it has radians and degrees, and it gives you the sine, cosine, tangent, and cotangent of each of those following measurements. Pretty old school. I mean, this is before calculators, so this is how people used to do it. I just opened it to a random page. This is the page on reinforced concrete beam formulas. I mean, this is so old school. Imagine carrying this around with you and having to use this at your, like, daily job. It's pretty hardcore. Here's a table that has derivatives and integrals. So it has quite a few of them, actually, and more than you would typically find in some other calculus books. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. All kinds of formulas that um, are kind of different. I guess these are the formulas that the engineers actually had to use back then. Here it talks about Bessel functions. Wow. In this table, it talks about safe loads on beams, and it says 1,000 pounds. It says I-beams, uh, channels, girders, angles, timber, reinforced concrete. It has all kinds of measurements. So I guess this is really important because if you don't have a safe load on a beam, um, that could be bad. What engineering book, especially an old school one, is complete without a giant table of logarithms? We're so fortunate today that we have calculators. I can't imagine carrying this around and having to use it. Although it does sound kind of fun. You, know, you carry around a little notepad and this book in your vest pocket and you get to work. So that's it. The book is The Engineer's Vest Pocket Book, Formulas, Tables, and Examples. A really old school book from the past. I think it's interesting because, you know, back then engineers would actually use this at their jobs. Like you would go to work in the morning and you would take your vest pocket book, I guess, and you would carry around a pencil maybe and a writing pad and you would use this at work. A really, really interesting look into the past. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And if you really want to help, consider becoming a member of the channel. Thanks and take care.